The city of Satumari, close to the border with Hungary, is the site of Quella's regional headquarters, covering the Romanian, Hungarian and Croatian markets. Romanian-born Elise Tepfenhart set up the hub on an undeveloped plot of land in 2005. She started with a team of 10 people. Today, the company employs a staff of 100. The mail-order catalogue firm is market leader here. These are just the Romanian orders, those are the Hungarian ones. Do you know how many are in a box or a pile? About 5,800. Those are today's orders, and they'll be prepared for same-day dispatch. About 6,000 parcels are sent from the warehouse each day. Tepfenhart is pleased at the level of customer demand given the current economic problems. Consumer spending in Romania has collapsed and the value of the Romanian currency has fallen by about a third. Unlike other countries, the first phase of the crisis didn't hit Romania. Business at Christmas was very good. The crunch didn't hit until January and February with the depreciation of the Romanian lei. While things are difficult for Quella back home in Germany, business in Romania is still good. Success here has been fueled by the expansion of internet shopping and call centers. Last year, Tepfenhart turned over 18 million euros. It's market day in Satumari. The average monthly income here is somewhere between 300 and 400 euros. Consumers are feeling the global financial crisis now, in part due to the fall of the lei. Many people took out loans that have to be repaid in euros. Quella products are just as dear here as in Germany. A pair of jeans costs 70 euros. Only a select few can afford that. Quella is almost seen as a luxury label in Romania. It's considered a treat you can't do without. Most of our customers went to university. We target high-earning women. That's why we're not suffering as much in the crisis. Preparations are underway for the upcoming fashion show in Bucharest. Once a year, Tepfenhart showcases the catalogue's merchandise on the catwalk. And what are we showing from the Botezatu collection? Alice Tepfenhart started at Quella, Germany. The firm also awakens nostalgic memories. I remember as a child how we marveled at the catalogue. There was a country in the world where people could choose anything they wanted. A place without queues or shortages. The dream of luxury for everyone has faded a little recently, even in Bucharest itself. But backstage at the fashion show, there's little sense of that. Tepfenhart has commissioned fashion designer Katalin Botizatu to create a collection especially tailored to Romanian tastes. Katalin Botizatu's clothes normally cost a thousand euros. He created a pret-a-porter collection in the spirit of our company founder Gustav Schickedanz, whose aim was the democratization of luxury. We've made this possible for our customers. The dresses are an affordable 150 to 200 euros. Most of the customers are professional business women with above average incomes. They're the people who've been invited to attend the show. I like very much the colors and uh, the combinations between them. So yes, uh, I will like for sure. I will, I will buy it. The Romanian uh, girls are uh, very, they like to, to, new, to have uh, new things every year and uh, we don't feel like the price affected us so much. So far things have been going swimmingly for Elise Tepfenhart. Now she has to keep her strategy afloat in these difficult times.